So, welcome back. Can't wait to get on this. This is the new Ship 3. Um, the ship has been built by myself and Dalmont. My input has been mostly on the inside. In fact, it's been totally on the inside. <clears throat> what we're looking at here is the exterior of the ship. Um, let's go around the exterior, mate. All right. Where do you want me to start? Uh, I guess start at the back and work your way forward. Okay. So then, I'm loving it, by the way. It looks like, <clears throat> it, I think I said it before, it looked like a Ra Cullum class from uh, the uh, UC Universe Gundam straight through uh, with a Magellan, which you've probably been familiar with, just from that front end and the sleeve. Yeah, I remember you the end did one of those. <clears throat> but anyway, so the rear end. At the back, of course, we have the engines. And I think they're... Where would we be without engines? I think they're really smart. Kind of like Daft Punk would fly this spaceship. <laughs> you know? Somewhere in between a guitar and a Gundam and... Yeah. I gotta say, it just in building this thing, I just, I've never had more fun with a hull. Yeah, I can see that. It just, it all kind of came out really, really well. Like, I didn't have to do much thinking. It was all kind of like, yeah, I'll put this block here and it'll look great. And every once in a great while, you'll get one of those. So what's with the, uh, <clears throat> I would call them the cells, but they're not. Uh, the little side pods? Mm. Uh, originally, they were going to be wingy bits. Right. Uh, very technical term there. Yeah. But uh, we ended up going with a more weapon look. Mm. And they do have AMCs inside, but there's uh, all of a thousand DPS. <laughs> <coughs> but I thought that uh, in the future, since uh, this ship is going to be used for numerous recordings, that those empty tubes could basically be filled with uh, some of the new weapon types for yeah. experimentation. I like I like that idea. It's a good idea. And then moving on to the uh, bridge or the uh, tower, it's got a very nice submarine slash uh, battleship look to it. Very much more like a submarine, I think. Yeah. yeah I honestly I I thought this is looking like a submarine, so I even went as far as to put the little uh, dive wings on it or whatever you call them. Dive wings. Oh yeah, <laughs> I see them. That's a beautiful concept, though. I really like this. And the radar dish really sets it off. It's real nice. That's also our uh, resident torture magnet. <laughs> Excellent. We'll have to get someone pinned up there soon. So let me see here. Got more of these torpedo style, torpedo tube style skylights. <laughs> Very cool. The ribbing as well is just about right. Yeah, I think I might have overdone it a little bit with the ribbing. Nah, it's fine. You you can have too much ribbing, but I don't think you've gone too far, because at the front end there isn't any, it's nice and smooth. Um, and I can't remember what they call it when you put little blocks on like that, but... Detailing. <laughs> yeah, there's a word. There's a word for it. So let's take a look at the turret on the top here. They're very flashy. Actually, that's turrets. two separate turrets. Oh, yeah. Triple barrel, baby. So we got two and of those them. are about 5,000 DPS each. <laughs> Making the main weapons look like junk, but that's fine. And then we have some mech docks. Now, admittedly, these are standard size docking areas. Yeah, uh, but there is room. That's fine. No, we, little mechs are fine. I was thinking we're going to have a lot of cores and things. I don't in the, uh, <laughs> in the next version, we're going to do some faction permission modules up there. So uh, I can't wait to launch. Our guests. I can't wait to launch. This little launch, you know, I can't wait to run up that runway. They're brilliant. I love the flat. I love how you kept it flat for that, you know. It's great. It felt right. And the detailing on the front is really interesting. It's kind of uh, buggish. It works. Yeah, a little bit. You got these little probe thingies sticking out the front. What's that? Radar, sonar. No, scanning probes, probulators. <laughs> yeah, probulators. Scanning radar <laughs> probulators. I've just. I think made what up I'm going to do is yeah. I'm going to get out of the build block here, and I'm going to, without showing off too much, I'm going to 
float my way up to the airlock and wait for you. All right, I'm gonna fly up there as well. And we can take a look at this interior. It's beautiful interior. So this is obviously the new Ship 3 and it's gonna be used for various news related purposes, including and not limited to the news, podcasts, texture pack review, discussions, and diplomacy. So when we visit other servers. Also various other testings and bits and pieces. Consider this the new news ship for Mushroom Fleet. And uh, I have to thank Dalmont so much for uh, all of his input because it's pretty much his design. All I've done is a uh, little bit of work on the interior, which he's then... Hey, you threw out a lot of the ideas for this. Uh, you know... I, I only made them pretty. <laughs> well, that was that's the, F, that's the bit though, isn't it? That is the bit. So you lead the way, mate. I want you to lead the way. All right, we'll start up here on the uh, main bridge. Went with a little bit different style here because we got to remember that uh, this is no combat ship. Mm. Um, I got to say, these consoles here, I I want to incorporate these on a future design because I absolutely adore how these came out. It is really good. They just I'm showing a it's good just, view of it. It's sleek. It looks uh, more modern than some of the other ones I've seen. That tree with the hanging lights worked so well. I think we're going to be using that a lot. And I like your chair design too. That's a cool little chair design. Very different from mine. Um, and then obviously we've got the pilot seat. Oh wait, no. What's this? We've got more. Oh yeah, we got a little uh, waiting bench and we actually have another little alcove back here for secretaries and diplomats and people who security. like cheese. And... It's security, man. They're checking yeah, the sure. airlocks. Making sure we don't get boarded. I should put a little drum back there with uh it's a perfect security checkpoint yeah it's a perfect security checkpoint so you've got a perfect view you know if someone was trying to breach they they ain't getting the security plot detail not in this no ship. way <laughs> so we've got more little ambassador type meetings waiting spots i guess yeah indeed yeah little uh casual room it's like a cross between an airliner and a battleship it's beautiful we got more computers, a little bit of reinforcement. The reinforcement looks great, by the way, mate. Oh, thank you. And so here we have the uh, main uh, navigation, I guess, or po piloting, the actual pilot seat. Indeed. And uh, although you can't see, we have a variety of computers which would uh, facilitate our ability to navigate this vessel without the need to actually see but it's cool if you go up here you can see it's quite it's an interesting view yeah it's quite spooky you can see through the turrets <laughs> anyway very odd yeah the glass does strange things to, to uh to some some blocks i gotta say one of the other things i'm really happy with is all over the ship the lighting yeah oh my gosh yeah and that is the hardest thing is lighting in this game so we're going to head downstairs now to the uh, the main floor. So uh, the top would have been the flight deck. And uh, so here we have. Check out. We're going to start, room. I guess, with engineering. Yeah. This my idea was to make a a sort of view room, and my view room was sort of like mushroom shaped, I guess. But uh, this room, and, and it was a lot more vacuous and empty in there. But I like how this has been finished. This is perfect. It's like... I'm digging, I dig the reactor in there. It's great. I tried to actually play with the lighting as a, as a decorative tool in this instead of just... Yeah. Here's some blocks. Here they are well lit. It's Enjoy. Good. It's, that's the lighting down there. It just looks like there is a reactor in there running. And it kind of looks big and chunky. Like what you'd expect. It's brilliant. I might put some chairs in here someday. Yeah, but hey, there's computer screens on the wall there and uh, there and there. So this is a starship, not a train. Indeed. Although, although look at that. Right, nothing wrong with trains, but. Uh, it's not I also love how open this looks with the uh, door mm. open. 
Yeah, that was one of the things Massive. I really wanted was the the door design, which I was it took inspiration from Hailstorm's final version. Um, the old news ship had these really big, sort of uh, you know polygonal. I don't know which one it is because it's got like an extra edge. That's the point. This middle edge that's flat. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sides. Oct. Is it octagon oct then? Octagonal. Yeah. Octagonal. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Noobs. <laughs> it's something, right? It's a, I failed geometry, so... Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's probably the first the time <laughs> I've had to say that in a long time. But yeah, so octagonal sort of room and corridor and door design. Because you, you really get that peripheral when you're going through. I'll go open both of these up here, too. Yeah, it just makes it suddenly seem so much bigger than it than it is. And uh, having that split design where it sort of fills in the gap so that when it is closed up, it's got a different shape to it. And of course the lighting changes, because you put like door lights in the hinges, which is brilliant. So this is probably the one of the rooms which I had the most input on. Dalmont, oh, this is your baby. <laughs> yeah, Dalmont changed the uh, lights a little bit, and I prefer them like this. Mine kind of looked like some kind of Kryptonian lab. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but this, these look so much better, and uh, just sort of, you know, a bit of crystal, spicing up the uh, the main room. I've put in a little security terminal again here to uh, check the ambassadors in to various meetings. We got the computer screens and a central monitor and stuff and things. So there we are checking the people in, and uh, then over here we have. The ability to have up to three speakers, or one main from each party. One very large speaker. Yeah, one very large speaker. And then up to, let's see, I've never counted it, 14 delegates can sit at this table, so up to seven per side, or 14 of uh, all at once. <laughs> Enough to encompass our entire staff, I think. Yep, pretty much. And the idea is we can do various discussions in here, uh, stuff and things. We can get fleet commanders to come and represent. Might even be able to do some of that uh, interspace diplomacy like we talked about with... Uh, Indeed. Faction... What's it called? The Faction Warfare Courts. <laughs> yes, actual <laughs> permission can finally be granted. We can get them in here and say, we want to hear both sides of the story. And I think that'll be quite interesting. So, moving on, we're going to head towards what will be the stages. And I don't think you've seen the modified stages yet. Oh, no, I have not. Ah, these look much better now, actually. So I've got a big old black side. We can do what we want with. And then we've got this set over here. And there's actually a, um, and there's a window here so people can see if we're actually recording. Oh, and it's nice and black as well. Yeah, that's good. That's beautiful. Yeah, the idea for this is basically that these rooms remain empty. Mm. Fear not, we weren't that lazy. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we're going to put in various uh, cameras and apparatuses uh, based upon essentially what we're going to do. And uh, in the future, should this ever be converted to a combat vessel, this will also make a really nice hangar bay. Oh, it's true, it's true. But uh, basically, the idea is there will be a desk. And there will be news and this is stage one so let's go across to stage two and check it out so stage two here we have it pretty much the same but you know does does exactly what this it one's does. better because it smells better it's, yeah exactly we've got that uh magic tree in the uh in the freshening it up so indeed moving up again and uh, again, I did the corridor, the floor, and uh, then Dalmont's come through and put his special flavor on and detailed in all my walls, doors, lighted, read on the lighting. Uh, there's a lot of stuff. The detail is him. So that's beautiful. And moving forwards, we have a nice gantry leading out over to the forward observation area where we can look out, see the stars. 
and our enemies. Fucking people's ships pointing around. <laughs> and the wrecks of our enemies. <laughs> uh, or, you know, the ambassador's ship, who's about to dock with us and uh, come and talk about stuff and things. We also have a little, little garden up here, which is very nice. Got some grass growing, some flowers. Got some uh, tulips. Um, moving down, I put the grass in here. Oh, I did the lighting under there. Wow, that's yeah, I, <laughs> that did that did look all right, didn't it? I like how you. Oh, done it looked it. good. You finished it off. It looks nice. And uh, yeah, a little bit of an overhaul on the door, which is nice. Kind of like a Zen garden. Yeah, it is. I thought there's got to be some kind of area on the ship that's like vegetative, and all my ships, if I can, some area of grass. Because I figure, if you're going on a long space voyage, you need CO2 scrubbing, and it's the easiest way. This is like GM grass that scrubs 99% more CO2 than conventional grass. <laughs> oh, indeed. And uh, they figured and that cost out. And costs us a pretty know? penny too, so breathe lightly. Exactly. You gotta be, you gotta be careful. That's why it's so smooth. Because it. Indeed, it's, it's like a... astroturf, but in yeah. space. It doesn't need growing. So it's legit astroturf. It doesn't need cutting. It doesn't need rolling. It's just perfectly flat. It's like a, a, a dream, you know, for a landscape gardener. It just sits there, and is perfect. Or a nightmare if you get paid to do landscape gardening. Well, that's how they cleaned up Earth, you know. GM grass, scrubbed the air. Only trouble Amen. is you can't light a match. And on strange Earth. bubbly rocks. <laughs> trouble is you can't light a match because there's too much oxygen. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> I don't think you've seen this one yet. Either. The future's a crazy place. Oh wow! Look what you've done. Yes, this is it. Now under here is the texture pack review lab, which is yet to be completed by myself. Now I think you can understand the concept. Effectively, I am going to make an area which has every single block in the game. And uh, there's the storage for all of the stuff. So basically, we're going to be chucking them all down here. And then we'll simply load in the texture pack, look around the ship, come down here, check out every block, and see exactly what they've done with everything. It's kind of cool, because, uh, you know, you're not going, oh, which one, what, you know, we need to load a ship in that's got that on it. Nope. We'll have every single color, every wedge, all the corners when they come. I think there's going to be plenty of room in here, just about. There's well, a lot of, definitely. There's a lot of blocks in this game, but I think we're going to be good. That's that's pretty much the whole ship, isn't it, mate? Yep, that's the uh, the whole beastie. That's pretty much the whole thing. Um, now, we probably should go and do the stats just before we finish up. So let's head upstairs. I was born in a barn. So I leave doors open. All right. <laughs> but it'll give me a good view when I look back from this airlock up here. All the way to the engineering. I'm gonna look back up the ship. Ah, oh, he shut them all. <laughs> oh, burp, burp. it's all right. Uh, it Here, looks fine. I'll it, just, looks uh, good. it looks good. No, I'm flying up. I'm, I'm moving. He's moving. Ever so slowly. There we go. There we go. It's a heck of a hallway. It is so long, and I think we managed to use the space pretty good in the end. There's not many hollow spaces, are there? There are a few which we've left in on oh, purpose. No. Like, I don't know if you did use it. Let me just see if you used it. Oh, wait. Of course, I'm not in build mode. Urgh. Hang on. <laughs> build mode. X. X returns you to the core, by the way, if you didn't know that, when you're in build mode. Indeed. Very useful feature. So, through. Oh, it looks solid in here now. Damn. You must have... Oh, yes. You've used it up. Okay, so where is the space? Um, I don't know if I'd really want to use that space up because it looks beautiful. Um, just scanning through the ship. Wow, you've really done a job there. It's uh, it's pretty damn solid. Yeah, I try not to uh, miss anything if possible. Yeah, you you certainly haven't missed. She's a no thing. weakling either. Oh, that's beautiful then. Right, okay. So uh, let's have a look at the stats. So what we have here, the new ship three. We have 223 blocks long, 54 blocks high, 83 meters, 
wide. It has a mass of 9,753, which is 99,451 blocks. We have a power of quite a bit. 10 million, five, yeah, 10 and a half million total power storage. Preparing to the future. 1.2 million energy per second. Thrust is 23,000, which is more than double the mass, so that's very nice. Turning speeds, X 1.1, Y 1.2, Z 1. Shields, 628,000, and a recharge of 16,000 per second, which is adequate in the current build. Of course, those new weapons might change our minds, but uh, I think... Oh, is, indeed. I think the new weapons will be the solution to uh, the effective god mode that you can currently uh, get yourself into with some of the larger ships. Yeah, this is beautiful. Uh, what can I say other than it was a good job and now we can get filming some of the scenes for the new, sh new news. I'm going to go ahead and build the sets and uh, thanks for watching this update. Yeah. Anything more you wanted to say, mate? Oh, not off the top of my head. Just uh, looking forward to seeing everything uh, get recorded in here. Yeah, I just can't wait to get people around this table because that's one of the main points of this. We do have that screenshot. It will be a good place to inject it to. Mm. Indeed. <laughs> Stellar preview. <laughs> so there it is. And um, awesome. So thanks for watching. And be sure to come back soon. There's uh, plenty more. We're on a regular update, uh, regular upload schedule again. So uh, plenty of stuff coming out. Got a new update coming very soon. Going to be going over that in a news release as soon as we've got this all cut together. So thanks again, and I'll see you soon.